Hi gorgeous, I hope you are doing well. Let's do some makeup. Okay, let's fix this face. The first thing I wanna start with, and I'm so sorry, cause I just looked, it's from the Sephora collection and it is the, it just says Sephora Beauty Amplifier and then it has the word pore. It's a targeted pore primer and it reminds me of the one, that stick from Lancome, that's the blur and go stick or whatever, but I got this for five bucks. So I was so excited to try it see if we had a gym and we do the downfall is it's you can't buy it online anymore i don't know if they have it in store or if they're planning on doing like a restock or i, I don't know <laughs> even without the clearance it's ten dollars and i actually really like it so what i do i'm getting ready for work by the way i have well i just have two jobs here i'm a working woman girl i'm actually getting ready and i want to show you the difference the stick makes i hit the porous areas on my skin so i hit around the mouth area and right like beside my nose that's where i go so I'm literally, aside from skincare, this is the first thing that I go in with. I want to show you the difference. And then I go and I press and look at the difference between this side and this side. Let's see. This side has it, this side does not. And I just love how it blurs so beautifully. I think the best way to show you, like watch right here. It's almost like an eraser. Like, do you see that? I normally wouldn't put it there, but for the sake of the video, I don't know, maybe I should start putting it there. That did a pretty darn good job. Mm. But yeah, like I really hope they get this back. This is what the product looks like. For the inner part of my face, the pores area, I like to blur, fill those pores. And then on the outskirts, the parameter of my face, I like to go in with this. And this is just what I've been doing lately. Uh, this is from Rare Beauty. And girl, when I tell you the shine in this product is like, oh, <laughs> look at that. And I literally go around so if you have oily skin I would be I would be iffy in general about putting it here but if you have oily skin I would really be iffy like even if you said it was setting powder you might want to like there's still gonna be shine let's try this from NYX this is new and this is the pro fix stick correcting concealer I did go in with this once before it is a if you're needing like that full sticky creamy coverage and that I'm talking to, to the full coverage girlies here um this may be for you I wore it yesterday and it is literally like a cream instead of a straight liquid uh, it blends really well though and I would say that it is buildable so let's make these under eyes, the purple. <laughs> let's turn that down a little bit there, girly pop. And you can um, just go back and forth, but I wouldn't suggest it because I don't want to pull on my eyelids. Uh, m not my eyelids, <laughs> my under eyes. Not my eyelids either though. So I throw it on like this. And then I would go in and conceal whatever else, if I had blemishes or dark spots, whatever. Y'all remember I used to put concealer right here, but that's really gone down like it's healed. So it looks so much better, so I don't do that anymore. But with this, you can go in with a finger. The pads of your fingers is what's going to melt this product and really push it into the skin. And again, I am tapping instead of going back and forth and pulling on my skin. For one, it's not good for your skin. You're just asking to look older. And for two, we set down our primer and you don't want to move it around. That's one thing that can, like you don't know, like why your makeup's crumbly, why is it cakey? Well, it's because you placed it and then you move it around and you mix it in with different products that you're adding to your face and now you got a little teeny tiny makeup ball. 
that may be the reason why. I wouldn't wear this on its own, like me, pro well, maybe I would. I think this lighting's making it a little more yellow than it actually is, because then this mirror looks good. But, um, because I brightened too, which I go in with this from Urban Decay, I'm not really worried about it, but the covering of the under eye looks much better. Obviously, there is quite the difference. I'm going to add a little more in here. Okay, I'm going to let that sit. But you see what I mean when I say, like, it's a thick creamy consistency I like how you can apply it like just to blemishes if you wanted to you can really like target what you're trying to conceal and just kind of drag it down not to cover the whole face but to get rid of any harsh lines you don't want it to be like super harsh so this kind of dims down the Boom, there's concealer. So that's the only place, like yesterday, that was the only place that I put this. I wore it all day and it did hold very well. Topped it with this. This is from the Naked Skin Urban Decay. And this is Fair Neutral, super light. And this is what I go in and brighten with. I love to brighten. This is what I look like when, you know, I, I'm in the middle of working magic. Letting that concealer do its thing. We take a sip of our kombucha. This is the Health Aid Ginger Lemon Kombucha. It's not my favorite, but it's definitely not the worst. I, it's all right, it's just really strong. I mean, it's ginger and lemon. And also, I need to replenish. Oh, what I will tell you though, about one of the jobs. One of them is food and beverage. The other one is beauty. So I am so excited, like, I wanted to tell everybody, you know, where, just because it's fitting, but I will, it's just safer, you know, in that situation, it's definitely better safe than sorry. Booyah, I still stand by this product, inexpensive Maybelline, the 4-in-1 Glow, I need to get the matte one. Uh, and I definitely need to replenish this one before spring, summertime, because that's when my makeup gets a little bit more glowy and dewy and just, you know, sunshiny. <laughs> of course. Ah, I still need to do a freaking sunshine routine. Doing my makeup in the sunlight where it's, where you can see every little detail and it turns out I want to save perfect because you can see every detail you can see how much product you put on you can see exactly where to blend to like you can just see everything that is such a good concealer obsessed way to go UD now let's do some blending always hit that neck area because if you don't that would be the first thing that people notice not your beautiful eyeshadow, not that sharp, perfect winged liner. It will be that you don't match. We don't want that. No, ma'am. Okay, now that things are, for the main part, blended, let's just very quickly pounce that beauty blender all over. It's going to pick up any excess that you may have missed. If you're put on too much, It'll pick it up. That's if it's damp. Make sure it's damp. And it will also blend things together more seamlessly and flawlessly. And that's what we want, right? Okay, so we're looking a little funky now. I went ahead and did um, some, some winged liner just because uh, I hadn't done it in so long and I wanted to like be very present. I was supposed to do that first before complexion, but I forgot. And so that's why that happened. Because if I do it before complexion and I mess up, I can just wipe it away, no prob. But if I mess up with complexion on, then we got a prob. So now let's set this stuff down. I'm also gonna go, I'm gonna make sure that I'm going in with a brightening setting powder because like I said, I don't see it in my mirror, but I see it in the monitor and it looks distinctively yellow right there. So I'm going to brighten this up a little bit with the Givenchy Prism Libre, the number three. Y'all know. <laughs> I love this stuff. I love this stuff. 
and you can see here that it has a pink light light soft baby pink very fair color to it and I have found it I have more control with a dry beauty sponge so like this beauty sponge I have dubbed for dry dry for loose setting powder they come with puffs but I just have more control with this point so I go in pick up some products gonna make sure everything is placed where I want it before I set it down and I'm gonna go into the very very corner and I'm gonna do the same with the other side obviously next I'm gonna do a little bit of shaping to the uh, schnoz uh, I'm going to go in with this from House Labs. It's the Power Sculpt Velvet Bronzer in the shade Medium Level 8. She looks like this. This looks really dark in the compact, but once you get it, like a little bit goes a long way. You don't need a lot on your brush at all. I go in with this. Uh, I've used it for so... The title of it is off, but it's from Urban Decay. I'm going to go in. Tap. And I'm going to start by placing... And then I'm going to work my way around, hitting the sides of my nose, obviously not going on the middle, the slope. And I'm also going to take it and move. And I'm always, always sure, ever since in one video a long, long, long time ago, I forgot to what I call close it off, which is just making sure you get the tip of your nose. It was like my, my nose looked like it was never ending. I, oh, it was awful. Please don't forget to close off your nose. <laughs> exact same powder, exact same sponge. Picking up more and I'm just going to go slightly up the sides of my nose. And I go in that crack. I feel like that's a spot a lot of people miss. At least when I'm looking at someone I can see that that part tends to get rubbed off. And yes, we look a whole hot mess now, but uh, makeup is definitely a trust the process kind of situation for sure. For sure. Okay, so now that the setting powder is on, let me go ahead and just do my brows real quick. Oh, I will say normally I do the brows off camera, but my elf brow pen is clickety clacking telling me I'm girl I'm done I can no more instead of going and buying another brow pen I'm literally like looking at all I have and we're gonna utilize it I know that sounds like well duh but you don't know how big that is for me so I forgot about this one the Too Faced super fine brow detailer falling right back in love with it this one is in the shade dark brown and I will show you really quickly on one brow how fabulous this product is one side's a spoolie the other side obviously is the product it is that kind of line ovally shape it's not just a dot or a circle shape it's i always start right around where the arch begins just so i know like how much pressure i'm doing today you know like in case it goes too hard or it goes on too dark for some reason it's not right at the start of the brow because I do like that ombre effect. I like to start light. And then as I go back, I use a little more pressure, like so. See, you can't tell me that does not look really, really good. Another key thing about doing the brows is holding the pencil or pen, whatever one you're using, holding it further back. If you do it like this, like you would a pen or pencil, and some people may do it and it looks just fine, but you're just more naturally going to hold it tighter, which in turn is going to put more pressure, in turn is going to make deeper, darker, more harsh brows. And if that's what you want, then sure. But if you're looking for that natural, big, bold brow, it's so much easier to just pull it back, hold it towards the back. Boo, yeah, we're looking good big and bold okay then I go in with the brow pen from Anastasia only at the start of the arch and back see how dark that is see what if I just started that right there you know what I mean like that is why and yes everything looks funny now like obviously that looks look at it up close 
that's what it looks like up close but again trust the process next thing we're gonna do I kept this in its box just to remember to show you guys um, I'm, I've been using it every day and I love it I am obsessed I think it is awesome brow day wait <laughs> slick day brow and I love the applicator I love the formula I love everything about this product this is what the applicator looks like it's literally like a brush oops there was a hair on it <laughs> sorry and then I go in this is a clear one I don't know if they have color in this but that's this is when I go in with the brush and I like when I start at the bottom of the brow I'm on the brow but as I go up I kind of turn the brush so that way they're not just pressed right against my skin and my brows have some oomph to them some volume and I also love that they stay without like the crunch I feel like a brow product is too crunchy when your hair well not your yeah your hair when it feels like like when you used to put too much mousse in your hair you know you were going for that scrunched wet hair look but then it was like literally crunching yeah that's a little a little too much this doesn't do that it does harden but not to where you can't move your brows and once I've initially gone through and placed my brows that's when I go and blend everything together okay so now let's go in with the eyes obviously I've already done the main event the wing liner I used the I will tell you this yeah I used the Too Faced better than sex liner it's fabulous it, it's bold very precise point now we're gonna go in with a Natasha Denona I need a nude palette and since I'm one of those where if one thing really stands out, I'll let it be the star and kind of go back, tone back on the other things. So like eyeshadow, we're just going to go in with this shade here. It's called Stone. And I'm just going to throw that in my crease and like brow bone area just to give it some depth, dimension, make that eye look bigger. I'm really going to blend it in here because I would prefer for the pigment to kind of lay with the liner kind of up and out just a little touch that does a lot making sure there's color in that crease shade in that crease area bringing it up I bring it up this high because I do have hooded eyes and if I don't then when I open my eyes everything disappears <laughs> which is also why it's super tricky for me to do a winged liner because if I do it a certain way I can look up and then it just looks I don't even know how to explain it like this isn't my favorite wing liner that I have done but like I said I've already put on the base and I wasn't playing that game today because I have to go to work right now I'm really excited about it but uh, I'm sure it'll be like yeah I gotta go to work <laughs> I'm sure that day will come Actually, I don't mind to work. I don't mind to work at all. I've always been a... I'm not going to say always. Obviously, there are times in my life where I only had one job. But for the most part, the, major the majority of my working life, two jobs. No, not because I needed it. Not because I had to, but because I like to see the money roll in. And I'm willing to work for it. If there's something to be said about someone who, who makes honest money. Who has an honest living or two honest livings you know I'm very proud to say that I can work hard okay now that the crease shades on let's do some brushing with the powder I'm gonna sweep it off I feel like I need some recommendations re recommend I can't talk I'm tired of saying I can't talk today because it's like Holly that's becoming every day <laughs> so I just can't talk um, but I need some recommendations on a camera that focuses better and now it may be me it may just be like it's on the wrong setting I, I don't know but I feel like both my cameras don't cap they don't focus on what I need to focus to unless I like click the monitor and like tell it focus here okay 
Now, before the mascara, and I think I'm going to do a little cluster over here, so that way my lashes go above the wing line. You'll see. You'll see. I am going to go in with just some bronzer. I'm not even going to do blush today. I'm going to do a little bit of highlight, but I don't want, like... I feel like sometimes that's too much. I'm going to let the wing liner do this, be the star today. And so I'm going to go in with this F13 brush from Blinged Brushes. And I'm just going to pick up some on the side here. Tap. And what I do with this bronzer that if I went in hard, it would obviously be very way too dark. So I'm, just, I'm going to tap it. I'm going to lightly tap in the places that I want. Do a little shimmy shim shim to contour. And you can see it did get placed just lightly instead of like whew, and then you got this big dark streak. I'm not sure why I do sound effects all the time but it just it just happens. And since we're not doing blush I'm gonna go a little wide and kind of bring it up above the ear. Just enough to kind of shape our face. And then here for the forehead, same thing. Just tap it. Tap and slightly buff. And when I say tapping, I've got the side of the brush and I'm literally tap, tap, tapping it in. Buffing, I'm taking it and pushing it. And like you can feel the bristles on the brush kind of bend. And that's what's gonna push it. Push it into your hairline, uh, push it into your skin more. And normally, actually, I'm holding the compact. So let me put this down. Normally I do it like this. Pull that hair back so I can see everything. So you don't have, let me show you before I cover it up. Did I cover? Okay, that line right there. Into the hair. That's why I like to do makeup first, then hair. Anytime someone does their hair first, I'm like, lift, lift back the hair, let me see the line. Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding, it's not that serious. See, not focused. Now we're focused. Now we're not. Oh my gosh. Woo. And once I have everything placed, that's when I'm just kind of going to blend it in with other products. Butcher break. <sighs> okay, so this is what we look like right now. I went ahead and threw on setting powder. This one is the Givenchy, but it's the number four. It's a little bit darker, a little more complexion, not brightening, just kind of setting, just setting. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with these from Kiss. Y'all know that I love Kiss, and these are the Impress Falsies, so they're just clusters, and you, they're already, you don't need any glue, because they already have the adhesive on there. Today, I'm going to go in with this row right here, which is going to be the mediums. Here's the applicator. I'm going to go ahead and put them on before mascara, because they adhere better with no product on. So, no mascara, no eyeshadow, I mean eyeliner, pro no mascara, primer, no nothing, just blank naked lashes. Oh my goodness gracious. And I've always, I found it better instead of taking these because these don't have that good of a grip on them. Just take the pads of your fingers and grab your lash and just pop them off like that. They're strong. They're good quality. It will work. And then what I do is I just kind of pop it on the back of my hand or if you have a flat surface where you can clearly see them. Perfect. And then I grab with the applicator. And I have a magnified mirror, so this helps a lot. If you don't, you'll still be able to do it, no problem. Um, but what I'm going to do, go under, obviously, and I'm looking down. You can look up, but I just feel like you can see where you're placing it better if you look down and hold your eye open. And then you take the back of the applicator and push lightly. Like you don't have to cram it onto your eye. You just pop it on like that. Just so you're really sure, I'll go ahead and do it again. These will last you all day, but actually I have slept in them before. I absolutely have and worn them just as proudly the next day. Boom, just like that. And see now, 
it goes over my winged liner and then I'll just do mascara the rest of the way in. Okay, so this mascara I actually really, really like. It is the Chanel, I just got a little sample of it. The Chanel Tin Nior, N Nior. And this is just a sample and it's actually like, I love the separation and the length and the wispiness that it gives my lower lashes and the inner corner of my upper lashes. So like, I might have to look into this a little more. Now, last thing that I'm gonna do aside from setting spray, I don't, I'm not gonna do blush today, but what I am gonna do is throw on some highlight. This is the Too Faced Moon Crush in the shade Summer Moon. And you wanna know what? I'm gonna use a brush. Ooh! Just dropped my beauty blender and now I gotta wash my brushes. <laughs> it was time anyway, whatever. Um, the F4 from Bling Brushes, it, it just got a little bit of blush on it, but I'm just gonna pop it in here and so that way we've got a beautiful shine and I'm kinda gonna transfer it, like make that transfer from blush, I mean bronzer up. It's gonna make it a little more smooth if I pull it down a little bit. See? How pretty that is. Yes, ma'am. Same thing with this side. And the mix of the blush that was already on this brush is gonna make it look less like I just took highlighter and went, you know, and make it look more seamless. And like a beautiful glow. And if you feel like it looks a little patchy, like right here, that line's a little too harsh for me, I'm just gonna take my powder brush and blend things together. Not a big deal, right? Right. Now let's set it. The Anastasia Dewey Set. This one is the, uh, it's either a mandarin or an orange. Doesn't matter. Let's go. And then I will top it off with some lip and we are good to go. I'm not gonna do the lip right now just cause I'm gonna eat. I did this early. I got ready early just so, um, I wasn't because I wasn't sure how long this video would take. So, I went ahead and started early. Mm -hmm. um, thank you so, so much for watching and hanging out with this little get ready with me. It's been fun. I will see you in the next video. Bye.